Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out at me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Pretender Finn Bakken. I love this toy. Originally released in 1988, he retailed for approximately $10 or maybe just a little under. I never know exactly what the original retail price was on these figures. Usually I look for pictures of the packages so that I can find the old price stickers on them. And I've seen them anywhere between $5.99 to $9.99, sometimes a little higher. So it really kind of depends on where you were shopping. But uh, approximately $10 seems to be the average of the price that I'm finding on these guys. So very cool. Actually, speaking of the boxes, this is one. I recently picked up this guy, and this is the first time that I have gotten a Pretender with the box. So I'm going to go ahead and show the box, which is not something I normally do. But I just, you know, it's the first box that I've gotten for a Pretender. And I love this box. I love the artwork. I love everything about it. And, of course, my box did not have a price sticker on it. So <laughs> what are you going to do? But, yeah, check this out. This is so cool that I got this guy in the box. I, I picked him up recently at a show. So Pretender Decepticon Finback. Pretenders hide. Transform inside. And there's some artwork of Finback himself. Transformers Pretender. You know, he's a Decepticon. Over here on the top, it shows you that Pretender, Pretenders hide the Transformers inside. And so they kind of show you the, the robot transforming to a hovercraft and back. So look at that focus there. And there's some, some pictures of the product itself, some more pictures of the product itself around the bottom. Um, let's see, oh, more pictures of the product on the bottom there. And then around the back, some really cool artwork. And I always loved this artwork on the back of the boxes here. I remember uh, when I got a little older and I was out of Transformers, but my brother was still playing with them seeing this art on the back and just seeing that Power Master Optimus Prime that I always loved seeing that. So there you go, Decepticon Finback, and he is the Naval Assault Vehicle. So, and as it said up here on the top, he transforms into a hovercraft. So pretty cool. I love that box. Really, really cool. We'll set that aside and we'll come back to checking out the figure. So Finback is, once again, one of those Decepticon uh, kind of monsters uh, not really a human, but more of a monster. And it's going to be an aquatic or a sea-themed monster again. So really, really cool. I love the head sculpt on this thing. I love how the head is kind of like two pieces. So you got this gray piece here to be the top of the head. And there is an actual jaw. You can see some teeth actually molded right in there. And then the actual bottom of the shell has the bottom jaw with the bottom teeth right there as well. Very, very cool. I love the molding on this. And then all the armor pieces are very, very cool. The purples and the yellows look really nice together. Going all the way around, he's got that fin. This is very reminiscent of Submarauder with this fin on the back there. That kind of like that shark fin. He's got a little tail there and some fins on the back there. Kind of some gill-looking things on the back of his legs. Very cool. I really love these crazy monster designs that these Decepticons had. So he's got this kind of like a harpoon gun which mine is a little curvy, and apparently this tends to be a normal thing uh, for these figures. The tray the uh, uh, on the packaging, the tray for the weapons is not long enough for this weapon. So this weapon was actually wedged in there, and it was wedged in there like that in a curve. So that explains why every time you see a, a, a Finback harpoon gun, it's bent like that. It's because that's the way it was packaged. He also comes with this little gun here, which can be, uh, this is going to be the one for the robot, but it can also be attached to the fin there. I love that his arm, his right arm here is just a fin. You know, very, very aquatic creature kind of thing. But you can take that weapon and just plug it into the side there to kind of give him that claw look. So very, very cool. As with most shells, not much of articulation except for the arms can move up and down. And that's going to be about it. So I'll go ahead and remove this weapon. And uh, take a look at that. And this is, again, going to be the weapon for the vehicle mode and for the small robot. That's why we've got the small peg there. We'll set that off to the side. And again, there's Finback with just a kind of like, it just looks like he's going to spear you or just, yeah, go right through you with that. That is so, so cool. 
So one of the few figures, uh, well, not few, uh, I guess uh, the other way around, this is one of the common figures where you have to take off the belt to actually open the shell, unlike some of the other Transformer or uh, um, Decepticon pretenders where they, they might have had a belt, but it was only uh, attached to the front, so you didn't have to remove it. Once again, we're going to have to remove this one, so we'll go ahead and carefully pry that off to open the shell and reveal the robot within. There you go. So we'll set him down. Go ahead and close up the shell one more time. Give him his belt and set him off to the side. And again, we've got ourselves two action figures here now, which is very, very cool. So we'll put his arms down. I wish we could use this harpoon. This harpoon gun is so cool. I really wish we could use this for the small robot. So we'll set him off to the back. Get Finn back here. Straighten him out. Open his arms. Open his feet. And there you go. There is Finn back in robot mode. And again, uh, you know, very cool about all of these pretenders is that they're pretty much the same. They're the same two or three robots they keep using over and over, but they keep remolding them. So they're all very different. Very cool little robot here. Here, the small robot is approximately set, or I didn't. Uh, so the shell is approximately seven inches tall. The small robot is about four and a half inches tall. So about the same size as all your other pretenders here. So very cool. For articulation, he can turn his head and then his arms can go all the way around. Not a whole lot going to happen here with the legs because, again, he is going to be a one of those Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, split guys here. So you can sell, you know, get together ready with the fit off and sell some chips. So, all righty. <laughs> so let's take a look at the vehicle mode. So we're going to bring his arms up and then we're going to rotate them and put them up like this. Straighten out his uh, his toes or actually rather hide his toes and bring his legs all the way up and over. Reach on the sides here and open up these little wings, just like that. Bring in the gun and plug it into the top right here. And there is going to be, get that all the way down there. That is going to be Finback's uh, hovercraft mode, according to the uh, box. <laughs> that is his hovercraft mode. This is approximately four inches long, about uh, two inches tall. And it's got a little wingspan of about four inches as well. So yeah, a little four by four by two there. A uh, very cool little mode. And this is one of those that could pass off as anything. This is one of those, it's a v this vehicle because we say it is type of vehicle. So again, it says it's a hovercraft, but this can very easily pass off as a submarine as well. Uh, so he, he, he can have underwater battles with uh, 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 Gilmer, uh, which I'm forgetting his, Amer uh, Submarauder. I almost forgot his American name there for a minute. Uh, underwater battles uh, alongside uh, uh, some marauder uh, to maybe fight diver. So there you go, very cool. And then, but of course, this can also pass off as a little plane or as a little spaceship. So you know, this this can be whatever your imagination says it is, which is really cool and something I really love about these pretenders is that they can be whatever you want them to be. They just they just work. I really really like these pretender figures. I've really come to love these. You know, again, these figures came out kind of after my time. So discovering them now has actually been really, really cool thing for me. Uh, I've really enjoyed all of these pretender figures, and I've, I've amassed quite the collection of them. So there you go. So now one more time, we're going to bring in this weapon. And again, we've got that small uh, peg right there. So that is the one that is going to be used for the robot mode so that he can hold his weapon just like that. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. Again, I am just absolutely loving these pretenders. So we're going to bring this in like so, so we can kind of a little bit of a different outgoing image here. Since I got the box, I just want to show it off. So yeah, very cool. I love this figure. And that is going to do it for Transformers Generation 1 Pretender Finback. What did you think of this figure? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.